Escobar. Get the herd into the meadow. I'll ride ahead to the hacienda. The herd will be fattening on Gaspar Melo's grass within the hour. Sandro, I have just come from old Gaspar's place. Well, speak up, speak up, Castro. Juan Obreon has come with his cattle. Obreon? You madman! Look at this! Do I want him a coward? He's afraid to ride a horse without a saddle. Ride it yourself and break your own neck. Don't dare to touch him again. Uh, good day, senora. I see you have a visitor. Always the sneaking ones. What are you grinning at? I want these signs posted tonight, you understand? Get Barca and Colfer to help you. Martinez. Yes, senor. Mark this one for Gaspar Mello. This one for Gaspar Mello. Where's your health? Very pleased to see you, old man. Very pleased to see you, Juan Obreon. You come like the lion. Not even the dog gets the smell of you. I'm an old friend of the dog. And, uh, how is everyone at the house? Well, everyone is well. Our family has increased, that is all. Well, with the passage of time, that's natural. Natural? Uh, do you know that one of the heifers you left now has a little calf with your brand? You speak in riddles. Tonya. <laughs> Good girl, you learned well. Maybe you better stop teaching them. She and her sister have learned too well. Now to the kitchen, Tonya. O'Brien. Rosa has a baby.
Perhaps it's time we clear this business about Rosa. Things ought to be settled. The whole valley knows. It's a boy, Grandfather? Yes, it's a boy. Oh! <laughs> Where's Rosa? She's in there. Oh! Rosa, O'Brien's back. I told him. I told him about the baby. He might even marry you. But, uh, don't surrender too quickly. Woman, it's O'Brien. Better if we have not known him. He comes and we have a disaster. But he comes to marry Rosa. Oh, he comes. What a happy moment for us all. Each time she goes to church, they point at her. The baby must be baptized. Uh, what's all this cackling about? Weren't Rosa and I married by the writer with the black book, hmm? The Padre says you are not married in the eyes of the church. Well, what does Rosa say? Why don't you ask her? Why didn't you let me know? I manage very well. What a child needs his father. Why did you go away? I have to move with the cattle, you know that. You could have stayed. Let the cattle freeze in the early snows. You should have married the cattle. You sent me away, Rosie. You said you wouldn't leave the old people alone. By the great mother of the great great mother. The child is magnificent. Like you. <laughs> Rosa, we have the child. Cattle, horses. I have a, a fine hacienda, land, for you, my wife, and for my son. We'll take the old people with us. You know Grandfather would never move. I'll persuade him. We need you, Gaspar. I have a good hacienda, a, a place for a lifetime. Rosa says she won't move there without you. <laughs> Are you a man or a noise? <laughs> Go to the Padre, marry Rosa. Then she is your woman and she will have to follow you. Tomorrow I will go to town and see the Padre. Good. Women have to be taught. Years ago, my woman did not want to come here. Ask her now. This land is like her bed. She could sleep in no other. She's old-fashioned. <clears throat> uh, good night, one. Good night.
child needs his father. The Mockingbird has changed his tune. That means you will have a brother. Two. Too much, old bird, too much. Father. No, no, please, Juan. This is my struggle. Old Don Domingo invited us to move on to this wilderness of rock and forest. And with our bare hands, we made of it what it is. We trusted each other. We signed no papers. Now his grandson, he, he has the deeds and he orders us off. But I won't leave. Gaspar. Salvador Sandro, what do you want? Whose cattle come here to pasture? Mine. I rented grazing from my good friend Gaspar Melo. You have no legal rights. The cattle must go. The cattle will stay. Gaspar, you've had your notice. You refuse to pay rent. Don Domingo has ordered me to put you off. Salvador Sandro, get off my land! I, I guess we made that clear. <laughs> I'll bring you something handsome from town. Something befitting the most beautiful bride in all California. And something for the baby's christening. A wedding and a christening. We must have a fiesta to console the countryside. <laughs> oh! Uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you please make these purchases? And 200 cartridges for me. 200? Yes. The storekeeper knows my rifles. Don't forget. Hey, Rosa, take good care of my boy. Hmm. The conceit of the bull. <laughs> Sonia! Now, what shall I bring you from town, huh? A new pair of trousers for the fiesta? For a bridesmaid? A dress like a lady. Lady? A <laughs> lady. <laughs> Juan O'Brien, <laughs> godfather of all the little calves. Still the watchdog of the police, eh? Good to see you. <laughs> it's surprising to find you with the Padre. I'm arranging for my wedding. And the christening. So fast? <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, look who's here. Senora Carissa! <laughs> Senora, I need your help. I want to buy a beautiful white bridal veil for Rosa Melo, granddaughter of Gaspar Melo. <laughs> and a cradle. <laughs> Rosa's a clever woman. She already got him one. <laughs> uh, here's the list. I add to that five barrels of wine. And open a bottle right now. <laughs> now, these saddlebags need mending. Oh, and uh, 
200 cartridges for Gaspar Melo. He said you know the kind. I sold him a hundred a few weeks past. Is the old man going to start a war? No, <laughs> celebrate a wedding. <laughs> I asked Don Domingo to meet us here, my friends, because I've been hoping and I've been praying that peace might be maintained in this territory. Gentlemen, all of this was the property of my grandfather, Don Domingo I, by royal grant of His Majesty King Philip V of Spain. It has been in our family a hundred years. It is well known that old Don Domingo gave Gaspar his choice of a homestead for him and his descendants. Our family has the deeds. There is no record of such a transfer. My friends, there are laws of God, of men, and of government. They must be obeyed. But the law is on the side of Don Domingo. My friends, let us try to have a peaceful understanding. The land belongs to our family. Trespassers must go. On down the river. They left me here with the sick cows. Give me a saddle. Why not? Help yourself. You know, it's still night. You wouldn't be able to find anybody. Get away from me! Come on, me open, you skunks! Fool's dangerous. Must 
be no witnesses. It's not good to be found here. busy with the cattle at the river. By the time we got to the hacienda, it was too late. We couldn't help. What happened? They attacked the hacienda. Go on. Grandfather, grandmother. Dead? And Rosa. And the baby. The fire. It leaves very little. Thank you, Padre, for your kindness and your advice. Listen to me, Juan. The law must take its proper course. Adios, Padre. Sonia, what are you going to do? I'm going with Juan. My children, God be with you. <laughs> Come, my friends, and have a drink on the street of two candidates. Juan. What? That voice. That voice. At the hacienda. It's one of them.
Enrique, a drink for the senor. <laughs> yes, a drink for our good friend, Obreon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the voice. That's the voice. Are you sure? I'm certain. I'd never forget that voice. This one? <laughs> this carnation is walking in her sleep. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> The girl recognizes his voice. <laughs> this coronation is loco. You heard his voice? At the hacienda, in the dark. But did you see him? Can you identify him other than by his voice? No. But there's no doubt. We were at Castro's house. Sure. With Barker, Martinez, and Colfrey. That's right. We ate and played dice. I won 200 pesos. Then I lost them. No, no. I saw you spend them on drinks. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> what are you waiting for? The girl doesn't lie. Juan, I do not say she lies. But she is only one. They are five. Now I see where you stand, Rodriguez. <laughs> Come on! Juan Obreon, listen to me. Juan, we have been friends for many years. I have done everything possible. What have you done about those others brutally pushed off their land, their houses burned? I searched every inch of ground at Gaspar's for a sign, a clue, a spur, anything. I questioned everyone within 10 miles, but no one will stand witness. You have Castro, and you have your witness. I cannot arrest voices in the dark. You know Sandro and his men are guilty. The power of Don Domingo covers them like a blanket. I cannot move against them until the proof is absolute, beyond doubt. There's proof enough against Castro for me. Juan, Juan, I beg of you, do not do anything to put yourself on the other side of the law. Old Gaspar is dead. My wife is dead. The baby. Someone is going to make them pay. You or I. Here you killed an old woman, and out there a fine old man. And my wife, Rosa, and my son. I wasn't here. You miserable liar. You threw flames on the roof. You shot at me. Get her away from me. Get her away. I'm alone, Tonya. That's not what we're here for. Who was with you? I, I tell you I wasn't here. Who was with you? I wasn't here. Give him his knife, Tonya. All he deserves is a bullet. Give him the knife. Uh, hey, what about her? She's got my pistol. She won't shoot you. If you kill me, you go free. 
Did the killing. I did not kill. Sandro. <sighs> Will you tell this to Rodriguez? Will you swear to it in a court of law? Yes, I, I'll tell Rodriguez. I, I'll swear to it. If you don't. I, I think I'm broken my ankle. Tonya, bring the rope. Taking the law into your own hands. Castro confessed. Tonya heard him too. He named Barca, Colfrey, Martinez, and Sandro. He swore he would testify. Why did you kill him? He drew a second knife. It, it was self defense. Who would believe you? Well, it's true. Would I kill my only witness? For it. I will offer a reward for your capture. Be sure it's never collected or you'll stand trial for murder. and catch the wind in the field. has been killed, Captain, with a knife, his possessions, all we found on the body. three of them already. Juan, I know you're sending me away so you can go back to Granada. But if you're seen there, Rodriguez will hunt you down. You'll find my hacienda quite comfortable. It'll be your home from now on. You can easily cross the Sierras into safety, and I'll go with you. Juan, give up this idea. 
fast riding one day, you'll catch up with Escobar, my foreman, with the cattle he's heading for the hacienda. Come on, we must go. Oh. My slippers. Rosa borrowed them. Number three. Sir, let me take some men and go after Obreon. Why you? Because he's not my friend. Obreon's a fool. Didn't give himself a chance. Made himself a killer. I'll get one Obreon if I have to dig in Hades for him. Gentlemen, here in my district of Granada, we've had three murders. Unless the killer, Juan Obreon, is stopped, we may have more. Lieutenant Pico, I have brought you from San Gabriel, here. You, Lieutenant, from Monterey, here. And you, from San Gabriel, here. Someplace within this area, our killer is hiding, preparing to strike again. We will combine our forces and close in the trap on him. Every rancho, every hut, every cave must be searched. Anywhere a man might hide. Is that clear? Many think Obrian was right in avenging the death of his family. Murder is never right. The people are against us. To capture Obrian is... Obrian is not a ghost. Captain. You, Munoz. Lieutenant Pico has brought six extra men. Obreon will return to Granada. From the governor. Urgent. Bad news, Captain. We have one week. The governor arrives Thursday. And to continue, Governor Moraga says, unless this violence is stopped, unless Obreon is jailed, Governor Moraga appoints a new captain for this desk. That is all, gentlemen. This 
too bad O'Brien got away when we had him in our hands. We might have prevented two of the murders. Rub him down well, Pablo. Yes, senor. Hello, Capito. You're glad to see me, eh? Hello, Escobar. How is everything? As usual. Are you well, Juan? Oh, perfectly, but tired. I rode all night. Gonna get some sleep. How is the girl? Restless. She helps with the branding. O'Brien's back. I saw his horse. He wishes to sleep and to see no one. He's ridden all night to get here, Tonya. Kill a stupid beast. Sure. So you can have her off for yourself, huh? Drop it. You get back or I'll kill you. Get him off the ranch. thinking. The horses, cows, vaqueros. It's not for you. Isn't that your life? I've decided you're to go away and learn better things. But I can read and write very well. Branding cage with Bernal, is that, is that like a lady? You mean like Rosa? You're going away again. I never know when, when you're ever coming back. What's more important about you? This is no place for you to be left alone. I know what you're going to do. I've arranged for you to go to Don Rosendo's. He's awaiting you. You'll be... You'll be safe there. I'll come for you soon. Escobar, on your life, see that the Senorita Tonya goes safely to Don Rosendo's. Now, there's an auction of horses at Granada. You and the new men aren't known there. Round up the best of our horses, and they'll bring the highest prices. But uh, your brand, the police. Oh, change the brand, add a couple of lines, and use another name. Uh, Madronis, Nicholas Madronis. Madronis is a good name. After the auction, take the money to uh, Tonya Don Rosendo's. 
If I shouldn't come back, I want her to be safe. Capito? Stay here. Stay here. Go back, Kathy. Ah! Go back. Ah! Ah! You can see Aubryon intends to have your life. You must leave at once. Enough money to see you cross the border. The governor is on the way. With you here, it would mean the end for both of us. You must cross the border and not come back. Fortunately, the governor will not have to attend your funeral after your work at Gaspar Melos. But you turn against your own people. For that blunder, I must face the governor. I shall post a reward. 10,000 reales for the capture of Obreon, dead or alive. You would do better to post a reward for the capture of the assassins of Gaspar's family. Juan Obreon will scalp me alive for letting you come here. When I turn over in my grave, pray for me. Believe me, Escobar, Don Rosendo can wait a little longer. You there! Where are you from? From the south, senor. And your business? Bring horses to the auction. Whose horses? Madroni's brand. Nicholas Madroni. You know a man called Juan O'Brien? No man called Juan O'Brien. Oh, so it's you, huh, girl? Get your hands off. May I go now, senor? Obriam's girl, Tanya. Where she is, he'll be nearby. Tanya Mello. Here, one. I don't want to endanger you, Senora. Señora Javi. 
Lisa, open this door. Storm. Open this door. Open it once. Break it in. Search the place. Senora, one O'Brien's dog. Oh, O'Brien buys many things here. Uh, see, the bridal veil for his Rosa, who is dead. One O'Brien, come out. Saddlebag, he, he left it here to be repaired, see? Uh, it is torn. penalty for aiding a criminal. I'm too fond of my neck for that, Captain. Senora Caressa, if I could stay till dark. As long as you wish. Grand Capito, will you take care of oh. him? Senora Caressa, you're a match for a regiment. Sandro. He has gone across the border. Hello, Don Rosendo. Manuel, wine for our guests. Yes, sir. Senorita, I've been expecting you. And I'm somewhat late in arriving. I can't stay, Don Rosendo. But may I borrow a horse? I must cross the border. If I can help a friend, good. Thank you. But here in the mountains, we have a code even when fighting our enemies. I've heard of many killings. Before that, Gaspar Melo, my wife Rosa, and my son were killed. I gave each murderer an equal chance. I saved Sandro for the last. Manuel, less than two hours ago, Sandro refused my hospitality and pushed on toward the border. I know, and I must follow him at once. Then you need my advice. Manuel, put our guest saddle on star night and snow clothing for the mountains. Yes, sir.
Sandro will take the one road in the direction of the border. The black snows are coming. Through them, no man can live. You will climb until you reach the sharp cliffs of the Sierras. Then on till you come to the shrine of the Good Samaritan. I give you my best horse. Ride star night to the deep snows. Then turn him loose. He'll find his way home. I'll never be able to repay you, Don Rosando. Juan, look. Horsemen, police. Juan, if you don't come back, I'll follow you. Take the north gate. Don Rosendo. Good day, Captain. You've come just in time to share my evening meal. Thank you, Senor. We are in a hurry. Juan O'Brien has passed through here. We've been on his heels for miles. Well, if he has passed, why ask me? Uh, this is a public road. I do not question passers-by. Read the order. Anyone giving assistance to Juan O'Brien shall be considered an accomplice. He must be captured dead or alive. Signed, Pablo Moraga, governor. Dead, maybe. Alive, never. The senorita and Juan O'Brien's brand. So he has been here. He did for Gaspar Melo's family what you and your police should have done. I see, Don Rosendo. No use in asking questions. We now know what we wish to know. May we borrow fresh horses from you, Don Rosendo? Certainly. They're up in the hills. It'll take about one hour to bring them down. An hour? Hmm. That would give O'Brien an excellent start. No, thank you. We won't waste any more time. Why are you standing there with your mouth hanging open? Why didn't you put the horses in the stable? Manuel, you're out of your mind today. He didn't understand. Don Rosendo, please. Well, what is it? About Senor Abrion, was Rosa Melo his woman? Yes. Patron, I saw the fire at the home of Gaspar Melo. I wanted to help. It was too late. And then my woman heard a baby cry. Go on, Manuel. It was a boy. She found it, cold and afraid. We brought him here. Manuel, is the child with you? Yes, senorita. The family of Gaspar Melo was dead. It's Juan O'Brien's child? Manuel, man, why didn't you speak of this before O'Brien left? I tried, senor, but you sent me away. If O'Brien had known that his child still lives. My woman loves a boy. She forbade me to talk. I will go after senor O'Brien and tell him the boy is safe here. Where is the baby? In our room, there. Juan O'Brien's baby. I go for the child's father. He lives. Wait, Manuel, and I'll go with you. Tonya, 
This is madness. Don't try to stop me, Don Rosendo. I must go. Unbelievable. And we're stuck here with worn out horses. He could have killed us if he'd wished to. Yes, I believe he could have. Well, now we must take the long way around. Manuel. Police. They go long way. We go Indian way. What place is this? The Shrine of the Good Samaritan, the last shelter before the glazier. Obrian has not been here. We had better go. It will not last an hour in the storm. We'll wait until morning. Into what? If that storm hits, we'll never come out. We'll find shelter for our horses. Storm or no storm, we're going on.
There's two men on the glacier. Sandro. So that's what O'Brien has been after. Another murder. We'll never reach him before they cross the border. Sandro! Sandro! This is one over here! Sandro! Until you can see, until you know who I am. This way. Not this way.
Look, Captain. Below. Fresh tracks. They're moving downward. Wake up, Sandro. Sandro, this is Obreon, one Obreon. You remember the hacienda you burned? The hacienda of Gaspar? The people you killed? My arms. Oh. Captain Rodriguez. You cannot get out. Give yourself up. a fool. Let's finish it, Captain. I want him alive. Cover the window. We'll flank him. shoot you, Sandro. Because you will know a worse death in a few hours. Captain Rodriguez, give Aubrey a chance. A chance to die? That seems to be what he wants. I have a message for him that'll make him want to live. Please let me go to him. Juan! Tonya! I'm coming in! Tonya! Get back! Tonya, get out of here! Juan! Get out! Give yourself up, Juan, before it's too late. Please, please. You must live. For the sake of your son. Your son is alive. My son? I've seen him. Rose's child. My woman found the little one hidden. We brought him to our room. We didn't know you were the father. Man, do you swear that this is true? Believe me, it's true. Killed him. Who can kill a man already dying? Sandro, you don't have. 
have long to live. Sandro, you burned the hacienda of Gaspar Melo. Yes. Yes. You killed old Gaspar. Castro. Castro. And Rosa. You killed Rosa. She saw me. I had to kill her. Who paid you? Domingo? Yes. Domingo. He paid gold to burn the haciendas. to stand trial. But with this evidence, I can testify for you. And I, too. Truth will bring justice, my friend. to kill a man who has much to live for. 